Hi Aries. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. If you guys would like to book me for a $25 reading or it's just a $10 question, everything you need is going to be in the comment section listed below. I'm sorry I'm so late, you guys. I am drained. This Mercury retrograde is putting me through a lot, and I have been knocked the fuck out, all right? I came home. I went straight to bed, okay? So let's see what's going on. Spirit, please tell me what's going on with Aries. We have this can be the one. It says you've already met the, the romantic partner you seek. Stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith brings you romance. Pay attention to the red flags. It says these the signs are cautioning you. Bottom of the deck, wedding. It says this situation involves marriage. Okay? So let's see. Okay, spirit, please. Give me a few cards for my Aries thing. This could be the one. Marriage. Who the hell is this? Stay optimistic about your love life. But you are going to get some red flags from this person. Yeah, I feel like you've already noticed them. Maybe you've already uh, broken up with this person. This person is trying to come back to you. I feel like you're stressed out about this. You're in your head a lot. Yeah, because it seems to me like you want to be happy and work on things with this person. They are coming back. Yeah, but what they're offering you is stability. So, you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to take it or not. All right, Spirit. So, why the hell is my Gemini stressed out about this person coming back? I mean, wow, it could be a Gemini. Why is my Aries stressed out about this person coming back, Spirit? Because maybe this person is a bit too controlling. I feel like you guys um, have a lot of love for each other. But with this Ten of Wands, something is too heavy about this person. Maybe this person is very manipulating. Maybe you look at this person as they do too much. Maybe this person expects entirely too much from you. Yeah, I feel like you already walked away from this person, but you were sad. Maybe they walked away from you and blocked you, but now they're making the decision to come back towards you. They're saying that they want to fight for this. This person is ready to work on this and start brand new. Yeah, with the star card, they've healed. They've healed whatever they had going on with them personally, and now they're ready to come and heal this situation. Okay, Spirit, please tell me what the possible outcome is for Aries. What is the possible, ooh, what is the, ooh, ooh, wow. One second, you guys, shit got real. All right, Spirit, please tell me what the possible outcome is. What is the possible outcome for my Aries? Okay, so I see I see you guys trying to balance out the situation. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is you sitting here trying to just move forward with this uh, relationship, even though it was stagnant. Eight of Wands, Ten of Swords. But I still see after some um, conversation, you making a final decision to walk away from this. Maybe this person is going to say something that's going to put those red flags right back in your head. And you're like, oh, hell no. Let's get one card from the Rebel deck. Please give me one card for the Rebel deck. One card for the Rebel deck, please. Make better fucking choices. It says if you are pissed where you are, then stop taking yourself there. All right. Bye, Aries.